Here we go then. So this is a brand new mini series on the Google keyboard, the G board, and it's born out of something really, really simple. And that is that when I type on my Moto G4, give you an example, um, what I tend to do is I'm typing away and then I accidentally hit the emoji. And this is the sole reason why I went investigating the settings simply for the Gboard. And when we input into our mobile phones, let's be honest, we are replicating something like the vintage typewriter on screen. So in part one, which is right now, I'm going to do nothing more than introduce and then do the themes, which is very cool. Uh, when I say very cool, it's a awful lot of fun because this is how my pop-up Gboard keyboard actually looks like. And I'll show you how to change this and then um, yeah it's quite exciting this is really looking over my shoulder as I teach myself so what you see on screen just to run through is in this part I'm only going to do the themes stop there then we'll have a look at the preferences in the next video how to hide the emojis from the keyboard which is the thing that I was trying to to do the sounds including um, typing, backspacing and enter, which is a very nice, nice thing. Could you actually get the sound of a k -k 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 um, old school typewriter? Then what else? So these are just notes for me, actually, as I run the physical keyboard, because I have a Bluetooth keyboard with the virtual overlay. You can do those things at the same time, by the way. You can also set up your physical keyboard. So the moment you hit alt, it brings back the emojis on the screen. I did not know, last bullet point here, that there is a spacebar swipe which gets rid of a load of text and also a backspace swipe uh, which also deletes a load of stuff. I did not know that was there. And then one of the things which I'd encourage you to have a look at if you wish to, there is a lovely uh, play.google, the typewriter, which is like a um, documentary about the typewriter in the 21st century. But the point of it is, is I want to make it as interesting as possible. So to get started then we go in and we say right there's my pop-up right now I get a grey default Android keyboard so let's get that changed let's go down and go to oh by the way let me just show you this because this is important and that is that what I want to replicate in a second is and I can do this you can as well is to replicate whatever your lock screen image is and you can see that mine is a lovely uh, England summer's day with white wispy cloud and there is a lodge there or a farmhouse lodge a farm and in the farmer's reservoir, there are some common carp which are coming up just to feed off of the like surface warmth of the uh, the weeds or the reeds rather. And so what I'm kind of getting to is going back to this and saying, right, there's my keyboard right now. Let's see how we can do it. We go into settings straight away and then we go down. And what I've got set up is the go nice and slow so we can follow it. The languages and input. And the Gboard that I've set up is the English UK, but by all means, you know, set up whatever you wish. And then we go in to see if I can remember to the virtual keyboard. The virtual keyboard is the one that pops up on screen. And then I can go to Gboard and then I go to theme. Now, I've had this phone for what 18 months. I've had Androids for like years. Never knew you could do this. So then I go in and instantly I've set up two images and I'm going to go to that one and then there's my new keyboard. I can decide to pop in the little buttons. I prefer it to take it away. I can edit that and I can actually move the image around. I won't do it this second because I will demonstrate in a moment. Go to next and then I can adjust. I've got 77%. I can adjust the brightness so I can get that image or the keyboard rather to be uh, very dark or mega mega light. I think I had it set at about 77 didn't I? Which is about there. That will do. Save. And that's it. When I go to apply and then I'll just repeat and go back to Google Keep where I've got a few notes. There it is. Look. There's my pop-up with my keyboard and now I've got this lovely little replication of my lock screen image in the background with that. I think 
that's good. You know, you may not, but then again, that's why I'm showing you almost like talking to somebody I know or I don't know anywhere, you know, that you are um, to say this is what you can do. Because let's be honest, you're typing not all day long, but all the time. So why don't you just get a keyboard that you actually like? So then we can go on and we can go down and we can have different colored ones. Let's say I wanted a blue one and I could have a blue one looking like that. Um, don't want that one for the moment. I can go down and I've got some custom landscapes that are around, shall we say, presumably in, inside the app on the internet that you can download yourself and show more a ton of different colors. What's the black one or the dark thing look like? Now, I, I don't like that, but they, you know that, that's up to you to like or to set it up as you wish. I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna go up and show you how to set up a brand new one. So all you do is literally go in and you go right plus the image and the image that I want is one that I took this morning which is as a sycamore tree which shows the um, fully laden Samara which are like the little helicopter things and I'm gonna say okay fair enough I can pinch this right in or right out. I'm gonna leave it sort of, let's try and get it yeah, that'll do. I go next from one of the images that I've had. You can see it defaults at a 40%. I'm going to try and make this as bright as I can where I can still see the buttons. Let's have it about there. Let's hit done. Notice that was 66%. The other one I had was 77 For me personally, I don't think that adds anything. Having the little buttons and then take it off and go, okay, fine, apply that. You can see it adds it to the themes. When I go back instantly, I do, don't even have to come out of settings. And I can hit that back in and it pops up and there is my sycamore tree as a keyboard. It doesn't give as much visual depth as the other image, but it is purely up to you. I'll tell you what, that's themes covered, I would say. So let's finish here now and then go into part two to look at some of the preferences.